Tesla announced recently that it's switching its battery chemistry for utility grade, utility scale applications, home applications, I think as well, to uh, lithium iron phosphate. And so we're going to talk to our resident battery expert, Dr. Kai Philipp Kerries from Acure Battery Science in Germany about what this means. So uh, welcome to the interview, Kai Philipp. Hi, Mark. Look, uh, I am not an electrochemist uh, by any stretch of the imaginations, but you are. So uh, could you explain to us exactly uh, the significance of Tesla's decision? Yeah, I mean, maybe to circle back one step, what's, you know, this, all, all these chemical <laughs> names for lithium ion batteries, like lithium ion batteries are a whole class of batteries that all share the very same principle of lithium ions uh, moving back and forth when charging and discharging. Uh, but the electrodes between which they do this, um, it's called a rocking chair mechanism, um, are a anode, which is usually graphite, and a cathode, which can be anything like NMC, nickel, manganese, cobalt, or iron phosphate, you know, what we're just talking about. And exchanging these cathodes changes the properties of the batteries in terms of performance, aging, safety, and cost. And for a long time, it seemed that NMC, which is generally used in electric cars, would be the dominating lithium ion technology because it can be used in cars, it can also be used in stationary storage systems. So just, the, you know, the scale of that would make it so cheap that all the other technologies wouldn't have a chance. But then batteries grew so strongly, like this whole domain, that now even for site cases, we have the scales that make them profitable. And iron phosphate has a couple of advantages, for example, in terms of availability. There, you don't need nickel, you don't need cobalt, which, you know, there have been shortages in the past and there's, they, there, there might be shortages coming up in the future and diversifying your portfolio is probably a smart move. So what, what are the applications uh, for batteries? Like, where will they be used? Are we talking about primarily utility scale battery storage? Well, actually, Tesla has announced and already started to, to use iron phosphate batteries also in electric cars uh, in the uh, China made Model 3s. And, and you know, as you mentioned in the beginning, they will start using them in their mega packs. So the large scale energy storage installations. And if you think about the properties of these different types of lithium ion batteries, it makes a lot of sense to use them in a stationary setting um, because the drawback, potential drawback that lithium iron phosphate batteries have is that their energy density is lower. And compared to the newest generations of NMC batteries, like 50% lower. So with the same weight or the same volume, you can only go 50% of the way in an electric car. But for a stationary application, in most cases, it doesn't matter. So, you know, floor space is usually available. So if you need, you know, if you have heavier systems or larger systems, usually it doesn't really make a difference. So that's a great way to, to deploy this technology. So is it fair to say then that lithium iron phosphate, uh, while it has much lower energy density, uh, is cheaper and the economics uh, still work uh, in the kind of stationary applications you just described? Um, if you had asked me like three or four years back, I would have said that we are not sure if iron phosphate will be able to, to have the scale to be cheaper than NMC or even compete with NMC. But you know, with this immense uptake in battery usage around the globe, um, 
iron phosphate has profited from that as well. And right now can be produced possibly a few percent cheaper than NMC cells on a per kilowatt hour base, like maybe 10% um, cheaper than that. Um, although, you know, it's not the, the technology of choice in the largest domain e-mobility. Although even Volkswagen has announced to also look into uh, iron phosphate batteries for the entry level models. So if the energy density is 50% of NMC, and but it's only 10% cheaper, where is the competitive advantage for, for iron phosphate? Oh, it's, it's, I would say about the same price or slightly cheaper on a per kilowatt hour basis. So, you know, you need twice as much battery for it, twice as much mass or volume for it, but you still pay the same price. So, you know, it's, I, I think it's really more of a strategic decision that if you produce at very large scales, like even a small advantage in price, you know, can have a big effect, but then also being able to supply, uh, to, to secure your supply chain. And by betting on different types of lithium ion batteries, you are less dependent on the few nickel producers worldwide, for example. I see. And so the fact that Tesla is doing it, and Tesla is a leader in this in this area, oh, yeah. does that mean, well, you mentioned Volkswagen is looking at doing it. And so the fact that Tesla makes that transition over to some iron phosphate batteries, that's then big news because other uh, manufacturers will follow suit. Is that right? I would believe so. At least in the uh, mass markets, like the very high end, um, premium car manufacturers will probably not see so much value in doing that because you know they, they can basically get very high prices which allows them to use like the highest energy highest cost uh, technology on their end but for mass markets i think that iron phosphate will play an important role in the next five years which again is surprising. I mean, technologically it was there all along, but the market seemed to be going away from iron phosphate until a couple of years back. If you look back in like the early, like, like mid 2010s, you had uh, in, in China, like so many public transport buses were going electric using iron phosphate batteries all the time, heavily subsidized by the state, by the way, and was domestic iron phosphate because all, like NMC batteries traditionally come from Japan, South Korea, and, and later Tesla, which, you know, you working with Panasonic and a Japanese company. And iron phosphate was always considered the Chinese lithium ion battery. Um, and then even in China, like the, uh, I think, that there was a shift in regulation as well in the subsidies, but then they were moving to NMC. And then the rest of the world was like, oh, if even China is moving to NMC, then LFP is gone. And then two years later, we have this renaissance of, of LFP coming back in a big way. And I, I think it's here to stay. Uh, Kai Philip, thank you very much for this. Always appreciate your insights.